Hey everyone, this is Grace from Kapwing and TikTok just released their official widgets which you can add to the home screen of iOS 14 devices. So in this video, I'm going to quickly show you how to add those widgets to your home screen and then I'm also going to go over some other iOS 14 customization tips. You're first going to want to make sure that your app is the most updated version since it just came out and otherwise you won't have the option to add the widgets. So go to the App Store and then click your profile icon from the home page. Uh, when you scroll down, you can see which apps that you need to still update. So I already updated TikTok, but scroll through the list and find TikTok, then just click update on the side. Once it's updated, you can just hold down the home screen so that all the icons start moving. And then there should be a plus button in the top of your screen. So click that. And this is where all the official widgets from different apps are stored. So you can see that TikTok is right here. If you don't see TikTok, uh, you can just search in the widgets search bar. Um, and if you just updated the TikTok app, it might take a minute or two for your widgets to update since that's what happened to me. So just be patient, like keep checking your widgets selection. Uh, and then once it's there, you can just click the TikTok one. And there are three different widgets that they've released. So each of these are basically the same. They're all showing trending content. People have different opinions on this. I think it's a good feature because it allows content creators to stay up to date with the most recent trends. So if you're just want to keep a pulse on what's going on with TikTok and trends, potentially make a trending content video, then you can just quickly like take a look at your home screen and see what what, what is trending, instead of having to like go in the app and go and find all these trends. You have a small, a medium, and a large, and they all have the similar components. Um, I kind of like the medium one, so whichever one you want, you can just click add widget, and it'll appear on your screen. So then just tap again to make everything stop moving. As time goes on, the this app will change with the different trends. Um, it's pretty helpful because you can see how many views come up under a certain hashtag and then examples of the trend. All of it is clickable as well. If you click the my costume hashtag in this example, you'll be taken to that page on TikTok where it says hashtag my costume and you can scroll through the examples. Um, but then you can also just click like the individual ones. Like if I just click this one, it brings me to one of the examples. So that's how to add it to your home screen. In addition to that though, there's obviously a ton of other things you can do on your home screen to customize it. We have free online templates to customize the actual app icons and then also for the medium widget smith. And in the template, you'll be able to add any components like images, text, and overlay them to create perfectly sized icons and widgets. You can do this on your phone or computer. If you wanted to make your own custom TikTok app icon, you can do this with the template. So I'll quickly show how to do that. The links for the templates are in the description below. So just click whichever one you're trying to make and it'll show up in your browser. You don't have to sign in or anything. You can just click make it. And this is a sample one with the Instagram icon, but you can feel free to change things around as you please. So I'm just gonna click this uh, Instagram icon and delete it because I'm gonna make a TikTok one. So you can just click start with a blank canvas and it'll be perfectly sized as a square again for the app icon. Then I like to go in images and this is an image search that sources from Google images. So you can literally search whatever you want in here. So I'm gonna just search TikTok logo white PNG. And PNG is good if you want to find like see-through transparent images. So all the results come up. The ones that are actually PNGs will have the gray background in behind it. Like you'll, it'll be pretty noticeably see-through. I kind of like this one right here. So I'm gonna just click that. You can drag to resize with the purple dots on the ends. And then for the background, you can either search for another image or upload your own image and put it behind the TikTok logo or you can just click the background canvas to change the color and then click edit background. You have a color palette here that you can choose whatever color or just add your own hex code. Um, I'm just gonna do something purple. And yeah, just feel free to add text, other images. You can scroll on this top bar for other things you can add. But when you're ready to download it, just click export image. 
After a few moments, your icon should be ready for downloading. So you can just click download, download again, and then it will be saved in your files first. In the top right corner, you can click that arrow that's pointing downwards, click the actual photo again, and then click the icon in the bottom left corner and click save image and that will save it to your actual camera roll. So to actually make it your app icon for TikTok now, you can just go to the shortcuts app and here you can click the plus in the top right corner to create a new shortcut. Click add action, scripting, open app, and then choose TikTok. So then click the three dots in the corner, click add to home screen, and then you can rename it to what you want, and then click the little preview, and with that you'll be able to choose your photo. So I'm gonna choose the one I just made, and then click add. And now it should be on our home screen, let's go check it out. There it is. To rearrange things, you can just hold down and then drag it and move it where you want. So those templates are in the description below. Go check them out. You can make your own TikTok icons in addition to adding the TikTok widgets to your home screen. Thanks for watching this video. If it was helpful, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel for more content creation tips and trends. Let us know in the comments what other videos you would like to see. We're always looking for more ideas and we want to help creators because in the end, that's what we're here to do. Let us know and we'll see you in the next video.